cover now saying, there's joy up in Houston. Dedicate all our radio listeners.
are in tune with the great Bishop S.C. Johnson International Radio Network. It is the world's largest apostolic faith radio network. Now the broadcast is originating from the world's largest apostolic faith church edifice. Bishop S.C. Johnson, founder, pastor, and general of the field. Now neighbors to keep rightly informed about the word of God, keep tuned to this evening broadcast every evening. Follow him through the scriptures every day and be well informed about the word of God. Now remember, he's the biblical answer man. So if any question arise of relative to salvation, then write to Bishop S.C. Johnson, the well-known biblical answer man. He'll give you the truth about the Bible, either answered on the radio or through the mail. Now the mailing address is Bishop S.C. Johnson, Post Office Box 3880, Philadelphia, 46, Pennsylvania. And don't forget to keep tuned and be informed about the Word of God by Bishop S.C. Johnson. So we present you now from the headquarters here in downtown Philadelphia, the Honorable Bishop S.C. Johnson, the world's foremost minister, Bible analyst, and authority on the divine inspired Word of God. The next voice, Bishop S.C. Johnson. Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith. We believe it, we preach it, and we practice it. We come to tell you again there is only one way. And of course we have that. And everything else is wrong. Well, if you were of God, you would understand. But not being of God, then you don't understand this. Hid from you. But God only has, in this dispensation, one thing. That's so perfectly outlined just outlined perfectly. Yes. And it looks like you ought to be able to see it easy. But it's not given to you. Because if it's not given to you, then you can't see it. Just can't see it. Now then, the Bible says, it's given to you. It mean them that it belongs to. It's given to you to know. See, I have a knowledge here of all things. And I know. It's a wonderful thing when you know. Bad when you don't know. But I'm going to outline it again. Let you know what you must do. I know you're trying to get around it. You're trying your best to get around. But you are hemmed up. Hey Amen. Like a church of Christ. Preacher told me once I was debating him. 
And everywhere I turn, I, I hemmed it. Till finally he said to me in a low tone of voice, he said, boy, you suddenly got me hemmed up. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I got you hemmed up. I got you hemmed up. I say, I have you hemmed up. And I've got you hemmed in with the Bible. Amen. Amen. There's no way for you to get out. Nobody. So you, you, you worship is in vain, of course. And you're not doing a thing but hypocrisy. Amen. 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 Because you're not doing it like God, the Bible said, do it. You're doing it entirely different. And when you don't do it like the Bible says, do it, then uh, I'm going to read what you are. I better read it. 15th chapter Matthew. I'm going to show you by the Bible what you are. When you don't do it like the Bible said, do it. I have it straight. Can't nobody condemn what I'm preaching. They don't like it. <laughs> oh, and a number, millions don't like it. But you can't do nothing about it. And if you ever get in God's kingdom, you're going to come and do it just like the Bible says do it. Yeah. Otherwise, go to all the church you want to, build your churches, buy them, do anything you want, but hell is going to be your portion. You're a hypocrite. Yeah. All right, what did Jesus say here? First verse? Yes, then, first verse. Then comes to Jesus, scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, yes. Why did our disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. Uh -huh. But he answered and said unto them, why, why do you transgress the commandments of God in your tradition? By yes. your tradition. By your tradition. For God commanded saying, God said, Honor thy father, honor your father, and mother, and honor your mother, and he that curses his father, father, father and mother, mother let him die the death. death. But ye say, but you changed it and said, whosoever shall say to his father, yes, or his mother, or his mother, it is a gift by whosoever thou mightest be provided by me. Yes, and honor not his father nor his mother. He shall be free. Uh -huh. Thus ye have made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Well, that's what the false prophets did. Amen. The false prophets changed, you know, God said, repent yes. to get in the church. And be, you better read that too. I want to show you how you change it, and when you change it, I'm going to show you according to the Bible what, you, what Jesus said you are. Now, don't bring me in it. Keep me entirely out of it. I'm just going to use the words of Jesus here now. And then Peter said unto them, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized. Now, that's God talking. Yes. See, because it's, the Bible says it's not he that's speaking, but the voice of your father that speaketh in you. Now, here's the layout. Follow me. Follow Bishop Johnson. If you're honest, you wouldn't go to another false church while you live. you just stay out and go to hell outright. Now, just follow me in the Bible for these few minutes. Repent. Here's what the Bible is telling everybody to do. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, now, hear me. In the dispensation of innocence, then everybody was to 
stay away from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. That was everybody's life. All right. Ended it. That one bad mind was one thing to do, you know. It wasn't a half a dozen things, a dozen things to do. One thing. In the dispensation of conscience, then everybody had to go in the ark. That was their life. One thing to do now. Then the uh, human government dispensation, then everybody was let loose to do as they please. All right. Then the patriotic dispensation, everybody was commanded to walk before God and be perfect. All right, that closed out. Remember one thing to do. In the dispensation of the law, everybody had to obey what Moses said or die. Remember, it was only one thing. You bunch of hypocrites all over creation. The word got you. You won't get away. Now, after the dispensation of the law was ended, here comes God Almighty from heaven, bringing, opening up the dispensation of grace. And in the dispensation of grace, now he's telling everybody what to do. Repent. Here's, here's what everybody got to do now. Repent. You go to church. I wouldn't get a snap of my finger and a net high for your religion. Hear this. Repent and be baptized. Repent and be baptized. Here's what everybody got to do now. Everybody. What we got to do now? Repent. Don't have to leave the tree, eat all the fruit you want now. Don't have to go in no ark, natural ark. And you're not let loose to do as you please. Amen. Don't have to do it. You can't do as you please now. That, that closed out. Because that there was a time that God suffered all men to walk in his own way. Well, that's all over now. All right, yes, what everybody now? This is the sixth dispensation. Yeah, what everybody got to do now? Repent. Everybody. Everybody. Repent. Hey, you go to church now and be a deacon and be an assistant pastor and be the pastor and then be the elder over the pastor. Amen. And then let the bishop be over the elder. And do anything you want, but when you get through all that stuff, listen at this. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ, for huh? the remission of sin. They, they changed that, though. Yes, they don't change that. Yes, they don't change that entirely. Amen. They don't repent now. They, they're joining church now yes. and shaking hands with the yes. preacher. Yes, huh? Amen. They right in, you know. Don't go to church. Don't go to church to send a check. False prophet he ain't bothered about them no. Huh? He wants to check. When he gets the check, he's all set. Amen. But you don't do that here. This here tells you to repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every, every one of you. Every one of you. And then when it tells you that, then it tells you on the back of that, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. As the manner of some is, and so much the more, as you see the day approaching. Yes. Amen. Amen. So much the more, yeah, yeah. You, you just sent in right into a false prophet and say, I belong to the radio church. Radio church. You're going, you, you, you're going to belong to something else. Too. Amen. But here it is now. Repent. Nobody going to get away from this. No human. I ain't God be going out of line and let you know what you must do. Amen. All right. Repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. But to change that. Uh -huh. False prophet don't tell folks not to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. They don't tell them that now or it's an insult. Yeah. You make them mad. They get mad when they hear it. Yeah. Amen. They get mad about it. 
You know, until you they change. God say repent and, and be baptized, and be baptized and every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. So we can get rid of sin. We're going to get rid of sin yet now. Yes. We ain't going to get in no church to have a form of God in but this, this thing is going to break sin up. Yes. And them hypocrites don't want sin broke up. I really don't want this. They don't want no sin broke up. They want to go to church today and go back and play cards tonight and drink their beer tonight, play the number tomorrow. I'm a hypocrite, but the word got you. Amen. You build your church and hire your false prophet, but this is talking to him too. Talking to everybody. What is that? Repent. Repent and be baptized every and one be of you. And be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what every one of you yeah. got to do. Yeah. All right. For the remission take, of sin. Take all the time you want. Be as slow as you want about it. But it, it's what you got to do. Yeah. Every one of you. I don't care who you are. Every one of you got to do it. Yeah. Because God said so. It's here in God's word, and he's not going to change that. Every one of you. Every one of you. You can go to all the church you want, but it's talking to you here. What is that? Repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin. You want to get rid of your sin? No. I read you jump in the water, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And let some false prophet pour some water on his head. Mm-hmm. I'll sprinkle a little in his forehead. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It ain't anything. That's good enough. They're going to hell anyhow. Yeah. Amen. Going to hell anyhow. So sprinkle him and let him go on to hell. That's why they're going. That's why them hypocrites going. Because if you were sincere, everybody that are sincere, when they hear this coming from the word of God, is going down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And you wouldn't be able to keep them up. No. no, sir, folks that really want to be saved don't want to go to hell. They're going down in water like this said. Yeah. Notice what it says. Read on. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Yeah. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. For the promise is unto you. Well, well listen at this. It's for unto you, you. And to your children. It's for and your children. And to all that are for all. This don't make you one faith and your children another faith. No, it don't. This one thing is for every human under the sun. It's in your book. Yes. For the promise is unto you. It's unto you. And your children. It's for your children too. And to all that are for all. Them that is afar off, even the, as many as the Lord our God, even shall as call. many as the Lord our God shall call. That got you. Yes. Then what happened? And with many other words uh, did he testify and exhort, saying, "What? Save yourself! Save yourself from this untoward generation!" Yes. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. Did you hear that? Amen. Did it? Did it? Received his word. Received his word. Were baptized. Were baptized. Well, that's what you'll do. Yeah. That's what you'll do. Uh-huh. If you receive the word of God, you come right on to the wall. Yeah. Amen. And nobody keep you out. No. Amen. Amen. But when you stay out of the water, you're a hypocrite. Mm-hmm. You don't mean it. No. You just got a form of God. Yeah. And you're denying the power thereof. That's what you're doing. Amen. Form of God. And why don't you stay at home and go on to the, the, the movie and dance hall and lie and steal and do what you want to do and go to hell outright. Why you want to go and get under the word church. Get under the name church. I'm a Christian. You're a hypocrite. That's what you are. Now, why I call you a hypocrite, I'm just rehearsing what Jesus said. Amen. All right. Let's go back to the 15th chapter now. 
Thus ye have made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Did you hear that? You hypocrite. <laughs> Jesus got angry with us. Jesus got angry with you. You not you hear me preaching continually to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, if you were real and were sincere, not another false church could hold you another two minutes. But you're not real. You're a hypocrite. You've been to some false church today. Yes, you are. Yes, you have. You've been to some false church today, and you are going. Yes, you're going back. You're going back and hear what the God said. Now, hear what everybody's got to do in this dispensation. Everybody. Repent. Glory to God. And be baptized. Everybody's got to do it. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do it in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You want to get rid of your sins, you do this. Yes. You don't want to get rid of them, you're a hypocrite. No. I reading you'll jump in a, a, a false church. They don't baptize at all. No. Some of them pour a little water on you. That, that, that'll do you. You're a hypocrite anyhow. Some sprinkle it in your face. Well, that's well enough for you. You're going to hell anyhow. And the word of God preached don't profit you. And it don't help you because you don't believe it. In other words, you haven't prepared yourself to worship God. You haven't prepared yourself to worship God. You haven't prepared yourself to worship God. You are hypocrite. Anybody prepares themselves to worship God will obey all the words said. Yeah. That right? Yeah. But they change. Yeah. Thus, thus ye have made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Yes. Ye hypocrites. Your hypocrite. Read on. Well, did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, uh -huh. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth, yes. honor me with their lips, yes. but their heart is far from me, uh -huh. but in vain <laughs> they do worship me. That sounds good to me. Teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. That sounds good to me. They went to church today, but what? They're going tonight. But what the little mountain? But in vain they do worship me. Uh, is it all in vain, but Jesus? In vain do they worship me. Teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. They tell you to bow your head and raise your hand and accept Christ as your personal Savior right there where you're at. Make a decision for Christ. You ought to belong to some church. Uh huh. But in but, vain. What? What? But in vain. They do worship me, teaching yes. for doctrine the commandments of men. Why is it in vain? Because they didn't do what he said. What did he say in Acts 2, 38? Repent. Hey, that's when it's in vain. And be baptized. That's when your worship is in vain. Every Who? one of you. Who's worship, Johnson? Everybody. All of them. From one end of the earth to the other. What did Jesus say? But in vain. In vain. But in vain. They do worship me. But in vain. Teaching for doctrine. They got the preacher. They got the preacher. They got the deacon. They got the trustee. They got the usher. They all set up. Yes. But what? When they get to wish up. Vain. What? What? Yes, but in vain. What? But in vain. They do worship me. In vain? In vain. They all been to church in Philadelphia today, but what? In vain. Okay. Who said it? Johnson? Jesus. You know why I say it's in vain? You know why I'm saying it's in vain? Because they changed something. They changed it. And I, God said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remissions of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's what God said. They changed it and joined the church. Red-lipped women, 
Red lip women, hair all straightened out, toes out, heels out, toe nails painted, finger nails painted, smacking chewing gum, hair bob hanging on, and going to church, getting up singing. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. They, 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 that'd make them mad. Yeah. Yeah. Then they go and have a worship. Yeah. But what did Jesus say? But in vain. In vain. Did you worship me? Yes. Teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. Yes. And he called the multitude and said to them, Hear and understand. Yes. Not that which goes into the mouth defileth the man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth the man. Yes. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended? You got said that you made the folks mad, Jesus. After they heard That's the reason they get so mad when they hear me. They call up here. Right to me and everything, you know, because I'm preaching like Jesus did. Called them hypocrites. Huh? Didn't Jesus call them hypocrites? And then his disciples heard what was going on among the people, and they told him. No, sir, not well, don't you know what you've done when you preach? <laughs> that don't you know you made the folks mad when you preach? But he answered. But he answered. And said. And said. Every plant. Every plant. With my heavenly Father. Glory to God. Has not planted. Every plant. Huh? Every plant. Every plant. With my heavenly, with my heavenly Father. Has not planted. Has not planted. Shall be rooted out. Shall be rooted out. Yes. Shall be rooted out. Yes. Huh? Every plant yes. that my heavenly Father yes. has not planted yes. shall be rooted out. Yes. Let them alone. Let them alone. They be Let them go on to hell. Yes. That's what it meant. Yes. Let them go on to hell. Yes. Jesus said so. Yes. Oh, they're going by the million, aren't they? Yes. 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 Are they going by the million? Yes. They hear me, but they won't obey. But he said, what? Let them go on to hell. Let them alone. That's what he meant. Notice, notice, notice here. Let notice. them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. Uh -huh. And if the blind lead the blind. If you see two blind fellows walking, lean one another, leave them alone. Yes. Glory to God. <laughs> leave them alone. If he, if he wanted to say, hey, mister. I'm thinking, no, we're going. Yeah. All right, go ahead. And if the blind lead the lead blind. Them, let them know. <laughs> oh, Richard, God, just let them know. It won't be long for to be in the hospital at the mall. Both shall fall. Huh? Yeah. What did Jesus say? Both shall fall. In Both. Leave them alone. Yeah. Leave them go. Yeah. Let the false prophet go. Yeah. Let the hypocrite go with it. Yeah. But they're both blind. Yeah. And the blind are leading the blind. Yeah. And if the blind lead the blind, yeah. look yeah. in the ditch. Yeah. Both are falling in the ditch. Yeah. Yeah. I thought two, two fellows walking along there a while ago. Side to side. Say, where did it go? Say, look in the ditch. Yeah. Oh, Richard, God. Both are falling in the ditch. Both. Both shall fall in the ditch. <laughs> then answered Peter. Then answered Peter. And said unto him, Yes. Declare unto us this parable. Yes. And Jesus said, mm -hmm. Are ye also yet without understanding? Are you without understanding? Do ye not yet understand? Don't you yet understand? That Whatsoever enters in at the mouth goes into the belly, uh -huh. and is cast out in the drawer. Yes. But these things which proceed out of the mouth come forth out of the heart, yes. and they defile the That's mouth. what defiles the man. Yes. Thing comes out of the heart. Some old hypocrite and preacher tell you, "Why well, God's not coming for your clothing? Uh -huh. It's coming for your heart." Yes. And the woman got on short dresses showing her as naked. Got on a short dress, got straight in her hair. Where did that come from? The heart. Huh? That come right out of the heart. That's where that uh, hair dressing comes from. Now, if you didn't want it done, you wouldn't do it. And you won't do it before it comes from the heart. Huh? 
Amen. You don't kill a man till he gets in the heart. You wouldn't hurt nobody. Amen. Bible says, who is he will harm you if he be followed of that which is good? Because there ain't no murder in a good man's heart. And he'll never kill nobody. Huh? If it beat him and he, he got a shotgun, he wouldn't shoot you. He lay it down. Amen. Glory to God, but you better not to bother with it. If he ain't got nothing, if murder's in his heart, he'll get that. He'll get a brick or a stick or a rock or a gun, whatever he gets. Murder's in his heart. All right, hypocrite. But the Bible says repent and be baptized, every one of you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. For the remission of sin. Yes. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. For the promises unto you. Yes. And unto your children. Yes. And to all that are afar off. Uh -huh. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Yes. And with many other words did he exhort, testify, and many other words did he testify and exhort, saying unto them, Yes. Save yourselves from this underworld generation. Save yourselves from this underworld generation. And they that gladly received his word, they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day were added unto them about 3,000 souls. If you gladly receive this, you'll get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, there's no baptism has been performed. But in this dispensation, that is recorded in the Bible. Yes. But this one. Repent. Here's the one for you. Repent. Here's the one for you. Baptize every one of you. You have. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Uh -huh. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now this is what you've got to do. Yes. This is what you've got to do. Yes, Go to church, but after you come back, you've got this to do. Repent. Repent. And be baptized uh -huh. every one of you. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I want to hold this to creation. I want to hold this before creation. I want to soak you with it. And everybody that goes to church without obeying this, he or she is a hypocrite. Because the Bible said they that gladly received Peter's word, they were, they were baptized. They were baptized. They were baptized. Now, it's no baptism for this dispensation, but this baptism. Amen. No other baptism for it. I don't care how much they took in the water and said, I will therefore baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Push you in and pull you out. You haven't obeyed this because they didn't call the name. If they had a call the name, and the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost isn't Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is Jesus. That's the name. So when they took in the water and say, I will therefore baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, and push you in and pull you out, he stood up in the water and lied because he didn't do what he said he was going to do. He promised to do it and didn't do it. Why? He didn't call the name. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is Jesus. That's the name. So when Peter said, repent and be baptized, and be baptized every, one of, every you, one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now when Peter, Peter called the name, yes. he didn't call the titles, he left off the titles and called the name. Yes. The false prophets through the instrumentality of the devil leaves off the name and calls the titles. So then every one of you that went in the water and the false prophet said, I'll therefore baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and then call the name Jesus. He stood up there and told a lie, and you have a counterfeit baptism, and you got to go back and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Those are going to hell. They're going to hell. Hey, man, you don't like it. I know you don't. And I don't care if you don't. You're going to hell. Who going? Everybody. You get your false prophet, tell him, tell him to come and stand behind that baptism. Now hear me, folks with good sense. We never had but three bat- water baptisms in all the Bible, in all the world. Follow me. The first baptism was Moses. And the next b- water baptism was John. And the last baptism is the one I'm preaching. And that says what? Repent. Here's the last one. And be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. You go into church after you hear this. I'd like to see you in there. I'd just like to be standing outside and see you come out. And ask you, did you ever hear Bishop Johnson? Did you ever hear Bishop Johnson? This your church? Yeah. You ever hear Bishop Johnson? Yeah. And then you go to, you come to church? <laughs> you come to this church or any other church? What the Bible says? Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. That's pretty plain, isn't it? Yes. Huh? Yes. My God, if there's some way to get some money, everybody would obey it. Everybody would understand it right away. But that ain't hard to understand. I understand that, but you're hypocrite. You don't want to live right. And you've got a form of godliness. And you, you won't take what the Bible says. You switch it around and change it up. And bow your head and join the church and raise your hand and make a move in a pen a second and make a decision and all that kind of stuff. And then say, you're a church girl. But here's what the Bible tells you to do. Repent and be baptized every one of you Mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Yes. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh For the promise is unto you. Yes. And unto your children. Yes. And to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Yes. Then they that gladly and with many other words that he testified and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this underworld generation. Yes. And they that gladly received his word were baptized. Amen. And the same day there was added unto them about 3,000 souls. Amen. And they continued. They continued. Steadfastly. Steadfastly. In the apostles' doctrine. Not getting out of it. They stayed in it. Continued steadfast. They stayed in the Apostles' Doctrine. Yes. And that's what we have here at 22nd and Bainbridge Street. Yes. My God, we've got the Apostles' Doctrine. Yes. We've got it 100%. Yes. Huh? Yes. I said we've got it. Yes. Nobody yes. else has it. Yes. And they don't like it because we had it. Yes. But we've got it. Let's go back to the 15th chapter of Matthew. Let me soak them again. 15th chapter of Matthew. 15th chapter of Matthew. Uh, yes. But these things which proceed. No, no, let's go to the first. Then came, then come to Jesus Christ. Scribes. Pharisees. Yes. Which were of Jerusalem, mm. saying, Yes. Why did thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? Yes. For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. Pick up something that don't save you. That's what the world got. Uh-huh. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandments of God by your tradition? Yes. For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother. Yes. And he that curses father or mother, let him die to death. Yes. But ye say, Whosoever shall say unto his father or his mother, it is a gift. By whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. And honor not his father nor his mother shall be free. Yes. Thus ye have made the commandments of God none effect by your tradition, ye hypocrites. You hear that? They changed it. They don't have it like it was preached on the day of Pentecost. They, they would agree with what I'm preaching. But they changed it. And because they changed it, 
and don't do it like Peter said to us, and like I'm preaching it, Jesus said you're a hypocrite. Now I write to him. Lay him out. You're a hypocrite. Lay him out. Write him this week. Jesus said what? You're a hypocrite. Thus you have made the commandments of God of none effect by your tradition. Yes. You hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. Write it. Read on. Ye hypocrites, mm -hmm. where did Isaiah prophesy of you? Yes. Uh -huh. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. With their mouth? Just with their mouth. Uh -huh. Oh, they sang today. They're going to sing tonight. Oh, yes. And that hypocrite wouldn't obey Acts 238 if you put a chain around him. No, if you drag him in, it would be against his will. Hypocrite. Well, as they prophesy of you, of this people, of this people, draw nigh unto me with their mouth. They just they draw nigh to me with their mouth. And honor me, honor me with their lips. But their heart. But they wouldn't obey a word I tell them. Because if you mean it, you will show up here at 22nd in and Danbridge yes. and go down in the water yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And tarry before God until you get filled with God. And then you will obey God. And then you'll follow God. But this people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips. But their hearts far from me. But in me. Teaching for doctrine. Oh, it's a God I want you to know all of it is in vain. But in vain, they do worship me. They do worship me. Teaching for doctrine. Teaching for doctrine. The commandment of men. The commandment of men. Uh -huh. And he called the mother to mm -hmm. and said unto them, Hear and understand. Yes. Not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. Yes. Then cometh his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended? Got mad. Heard you <laughs> Somebody's mad now. Somebody's mad about this message. Yes, they are. All of them said, tell him to go on and preach the gospel. I'm preaching the gospel. When I get you, you're a hypocrite if you, you would rejoice about it. If you had it, you rejoice about it. But you don't have it and don't want it. And you're mad with me because I preach it. Yeah. But you've got to do this. Yeah. You've got to repent and be baptized. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Get the Holy Ghost. Otherwise, hell.
again. And Frankel had the privilege to tell the people this is what they need. This is what they need. And I'm glad for the privilege. <coughs> The Lord said and it worked out something wonderful when he started this radio program. The Lord was the one that started this program. I didn't. And he worked it around so that we can rein it in on Philadelphia every day. And that's wonderful. Amen. And we're going to just concentrate now Amen. on Philadelphia. Amen. Just set on it. I God there'll be dreaming church. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Won't get away. Nobody. I said nobody. Going to get away. Amen. 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 It's Amen. one of the greatest things ever happened in Philly. Yeah. Every night. Amen. You know, everybody loves the truth, is glad for it. Glad. That is falling. Every night. Yes. And what a wonderful hour. Yes. Catch everybody in it. Yes. Huh? Yes. Amen. Yes. Catch everybody. Yes. God has delivered them yes. into our hands. Yes. At last, He delivered them into our hands. They can't get away from what a preacher. You know. Amen. They're getting, they're getting mad, calling up. One man called up and fighting mad. I tell him, will you tell him to go on and preach the gospel? And Amen. Amen. I'm preaching. Amen. Tell it out here. Oh, no way out. They got everything him then. Everything. All of it is, are yours now. Long to Israel. Amen. It belongs to Israel. Nobody but us. Amen. That's right. This is God's doing. This is God's doing. God alone brought this. Just a few years back, we was in a little dining room. But the Spirit said to me that noonday as I preached of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and establish it henceforth and forever there is zeal 
of the Lord of hosts shall perform this. And look what God done. Amen. 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 Then they left. They Thank the Lord. Amen. What this thing? Oh, then, priest. No use nobody talking. I had this confidence in no way back yonder. Before I saw you. I know you had to come. Huh? I know you had to come. I know it. Had to come. If you leave it, you got to come back. Somebody left us not long ago, come back and said, I'll be back tonight to the church. Amen. Well, nothing but a trick of the devil Amen. for me to leave the church. Amen. You got to come to this. It wasn't me talking. No, sir. Who am I? And what interest would I have in spiritual things? Amen. What interest? I wouldn't have no interest in spiritual things far enough to try to mix you spiritually. Amen. Amen. Amen.